Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm doing a review of Signia's new Augmented Experience line of hearing aids. Coming up. Signia hearing aids have been around for a long time, but you may be more familiar with them by their previous brand name, Siemens. In 2015, a company named Savantos purchased the Siemens hearing aid brand and renamed it Signia. And then in 2019, the hearing aid manufacturer Widex actually merged with Savantos and created WS Audiology at that time. Since this merger, Signia hearing aids have improved significantly in my opinion, and this trend continues with the new augmented experience line of hearing aids. The new augmented experience line of hearing aids from Signia, abbreviated AX, has some key improvements and differences from the previous generation of Signia devices called the Experience line, which results in a very impressive new hearing aid. But before I get into my review of the Signia AX hearing aids, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel and it lets me know that you want to see more detailed hearing aid review videos like this one. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit the subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures you never miss one of my new videos. That being said, I really appreciate it. Now on with the review. Just a quick little disclaimer before I get started here. I want you to know that it does not matter how awesome any hearing aid is if that hearing aid has not been properly fit and programmed by a hearing care professional who follows best practices. Now, if you do not know what best practices are, then I highly recommend that you check out my video that I will link in the description. The main feature improvement of the AX line of hearing aids is the use of not just one, but two sound processors inside of these hearing aids that allows for a feature called augmented focus, which I will discuss in detail later in this video. First, I want to go over some of the other key features of these devices. As of this recording, the only hearing aid that you can actually purchase from the augmented experience line of Signia hearing aids is the Signia Pure Charge and Go TAX. However, there will eventually be a non-telecoil version of the Pure AX hearing aid, a Stiletto AX, which is their fashion hearing aid, the NCO Charge and Go AX, which is their custom in-the-ear rechargeable hearing aid, and other hearing aid form factors in the Augmented Experience lineup as well. Since all of these hearing aids will be on the same Augmented Experience platform, a lot of the features will be very similar, but the one feature that is definitely different between them is the rechargeability. Signia is actually getting away from inductive charging in favor of galvanic charging inside of their Pure and Stiletto hearing aid models. However, they are maintaining this inductive charging inside of their NCO Pure Charge and Go AX hearing aids, which are the first custom in the ear hearing aids that do not have charging contacts. The use of galvanic charging allows Signia to have a really long battery life and also make the size of the hearing aid considerably smaller for a rechargeable hearing aid. So these hearing aids are now some of the smallest hearing aids that you can get to go behind the ear that are still rechargeable, and they have the longest battery life by far. The battery life on a single charge with these hearing aids can get you up to 39 hours if you don't do a lot of streaming. Of course, this number will reduce down if you do a lot of streaming from your hearing aids, but to have nearly 40 hours worth of battery life inside of a rechargeable hearing aid is just unheard of at this point. The only bad thing though is that galvanic charging uses a charging contact on the bottom of the hearing aid. You can see that little gold ring right there. That needs to maintain contact with the actual charger, and you can build up a lot of debris inside of that charging contact and it can prevent your hearing aids from actually getting a good charge. Now I typically see inside of my clinic that the repair rates for rechargeable hearing aids is about 30% higher than disposable battery hearing aids. As of right now, Signia only has a rechargeable version of the AX hearing aids available, so you may have to wait a while if you decide that you want a disposable battery version of this hearing aid. Galvanic charging also means that the charging cases that the AX devices use will be different than previous generations of Signia devices as well. You now have three different charger options. You have a standard pure charger, the pure portable charger, and the pure dry and clean charger. The standard pure charger requires that it is plugged into a wall or USB outlet, 
while the other two chargers can hold an internal charge so they do not need to be plugged in at all times. The Pure Dry and Clean charger has an internal dehydration system that you can use to keep moisture buildup under control, which is a very nice feature, especially if you live in a humid environment. The standard Pure charger will come with the basic 3AX tier of technology, and the Pure Portable charger will come with the advanced 5AX and premium 7AX tiers. The Pure Dry and Clean charger is available as an add-on only, which means that you will have to purchase it separately. Speaking of technology, Technology levels or performance levels as Signia likes to call them, the higher the technology level, the more features and customizations that can be used by you and your provider to optimize your performance with your devices. Each time you drop down in technology level, it takes away features, but it also reduces the cost of your hearing aids. When it comes to selecting the most appropriate technology level for you, I highly recommend that you go with the highest level of technology that you can reasonably afford. If you cannot afford it, that is what makes your decision to drop down in technology level. This way you can prevent yourself from potentially leaving benefit on the table, and it is the job of your hearing care professional to optimize whatever level of technology you decide to go. With. Of course, the Signia AX line of hearing aids are a made for iPhone hearing aid, so you can use Bluetooth low energy to communicate with your iPhone or Apple devices. But they also use the ASHA Bluetooth protocol, which allows you to connect your AX hearing aids to an Android device as well. If you are an Android user, I do recommend that you check the compatibility of your phone with the AX line of hearing aids, because if it is not compatible with the AX line of devices, you're going to have to make an investment in a new phone as well. This Bluetooth connectivity will give you access to the Signia app, which allows you to make different volume changes and program changes in your own hearing aids. But this app also lets you have access to telecare, which allows your hearing care professional to make remote programming adjustments to your hearing aids without you having to go into their office. I love this feature because I have patients from all across the country who come out to Phoenix for treatment and then they end up going back home and I can use this feature to make adjustments on their hearing aids without them having to fly back out. The bad news is you cannot use this telecare feature if you have a cross transmitter. The good news is there is a pure charge and go cross transmitter available with this line of devices. So if you have single sided deafness, you can still use this great technology. This direct Bluetooth connectivity also allows you to stream audio directly from your phone into both of your hearing aids. So if you want to listen to podcasts, audio books, YouTube videos, you want to listen to music, or if you want to stream phone calls, you can do all of that wirelessly. One negative with the phone calls though is that you still have to use your smartphone to answer the phone call coming in, and you have to use the microphone of your smartphone to talk into, even though you can hear the person directly inside of your hearing aids. So if you're talking on the phone, you cannot be totally hands-free, but this feature is pretty amazing anyway. The perception of music streaming from your smart device into your hearing aids sounds really flat if you happen to use an open dome or an open vented ear mold. If you really want good sound quality when you're streaming, and this doesn't just go for these Signia devices, it goes for any device that you ever try to stream music into, you really have to close up the venting. So you either have to get a closed ear mold or a closed dome if you want to hear all those bass tones. If you're just streaming something like this YouTube video or an audio book or anything that it's speech related, the streaming quality is really good. Another feature that exists inside of the AX line of devices is the Signia Assistant, which uses artificial intelligence to help you customize the audio of your hearing aids in different environments. While Signia is calling this a form of deep learning, to me it seems more like machine learning because it does require your input to make these changes. To use the Signia Assistant, you have to have the Signia app installed on your smart device and you have to have your hearing aids connected to your smart device. Once you activate the Signia Assistant through the Signia app on your smartphone or tablet, you will be able to choose from a list of different options to address your needs and answer the Assistant's follow-up questions to optimize your hearing aid settings. Once you apply these new settings to your universal program, you can choose to keep them if you like them or revert to the settings given to you by your hearing care professional. While I have not seen any data that shows actual measured improvement of hearing ability when using the Signia Assistant, Signia does report that 93% of hearing aid users who use the Signia Assistant reported that they were 
are happy with their hearing aids in complex listening situations. Of course, the AX line of hearing aids still use a motion sensor inside of these devices to help your hearing aids identify what environmental settings you need to be put into based on your body movement. One major improvement of the AX line of hearing aids is that they finally got rid of those ridiculous click domes that they had on the tips of these receivers. Those domes were virtually impossible for patients to get off themselves so they could change their own wax traps. And in my opinion, patients should be able to change their own wax traps on their hearing aids to prevent unnecessary visits to their hearing care professional. They are now using a standard silicone dome that is very easy to remove but still will not pop off inside of your ear canal, so it is very easy for you to change the wax traps now. This is likely due to the partnership between Savantos and Widex. Widex had better domes in the past and they decided to use these Widex domes on the Signia hearing aids, which I couldn't love anymore. And you can also see that they are actually using a very similar receiver wire that Widex hearing aids used to use, which is good because I was never a really big fan of the receivers that Signia was using in the past. These new receivers are also snap fit receivers, so they're much easier to remove and replace, especially if you have to do this on your own. Personally, I am also a big fan of the color options that Signia gives you with these devices and the overall look of the Signia AX hearing aids. Not only is the Signia Pure Charging OTAX hearing aid the smallest hearing aid that still has a telecoil that's rechargeable, it is probably the sleekest looking hearing aid of any hearing aid on the market right now. This is what the hearing aid actually looks like on my ear. I'm using an open dome with the receiver wire. The only thing I wish is that this receiver wire actually fit a little bit more flush up against the front of my ear so it's a little bit more invisible. But nonetheless, super comfortable, again, super sleek looking, and I really like this hearing aid. If you wanna match it to your skin tone, they have a color for that. And if you wanna match it to your hair color, they have a color for that as well. So if you want it to be invisible, it can be. One of my favorite features that Signia carried forward from previous generations of their device devices is own voice processing. The whole concept behind own voice processing is, is that a lot of individuals do not like the way that their own voice sounds when they're wearing their hearing aids. So this particular feature actually reduces the amount of amplification given to your own voice, but leaves the amplification for everyone else talking to you at the proper level. In order to make this feature work, your hearing aids do have to be trained to recognize your own voice, but don't worry, this is taken care of by your hearing care professional during your hearing aid fitting. All right, enough stalling. Let's go ahead and get into the headline feature of the AX hearing aids, which is augmented focus that is made possible by the dual processors inside of these hearing aids. Essentially, these dual processors allow for separate sound processing of speech and noise coming from different directions. Now, I'm gonna do my best to help you understand what this feature is actually doing, and then I'm gonna give you a very simplified analogy using photography at the end. While every other hearing aid on the market uses a single processor to process all sounds that come into the hearing aid, these particular hearing devices have two processors that allow these hearing aids to separate out the processing between speech and noise. First, thanks to beamforming technology made possible by the microphones of these devices, the hearing aids can separate out sounds coming from in front and sounds coming from behind. Second, each stream of sound is processed independently of each other. This allows the hearing aid to determine if a particular stream is relevant information for the hearing aid user or if it's just background or distracting noise. Third, this augmented focus feature also uses soundscape analysis. This is where the hearing aid classifies what type of environment you are in, determines your body movement with the motion sensor, calculates your signal to noise ratio in your environment, determines if it is you talking or others talking, and determines the modulation of sound from your surroundings. All of this allows the dual processors to understand what's actually going on around you. Fourth, you have the sound processing where the processors determine whether or not to emphasize or reduce sounds independently of each other. This is very similar to how an audio engineer might manipulate dialogue and music of your favorite TV show, only doing it really well. 
by the processors adjusting compression and noise reduction separately in two different processors, it allows the hearing aids to create more of like a 3D effect of sounds that you want to hear being stood out from the sounds that you don't want to hear. Now, if none of that makes sense, let me go ahead and give you this analogy using photography. When taking a photo, different exposure times will result in a different image quality. In this particular case, if you adjust your exposure time to emphasize the detail of the sun, then you will lose the perception of detail in the grass. If you adjust the exposure time to focus on the grass, then you will lose the perception of detail of the sun. However, if you take multiple photos with different exposure times and combine them after the photos have been taken, you can create a single image that preserves the detail of both. By processing two different inputs separately of each other and then combining them after they've been processed, it could result in a better sound experience. How much better, you ask? Well, if you ask Signia, they will tell you that in a study they conducted in 2021, 85% of individuals had better speech understanding with AX hearing aids than their own hearing aids, with 25% better speech understanding in background noise. Now, to be fair, these tests were performed on AX hearing aids that had not been programmed using real ear measurement, which in my opinion is just a horrible idea. They had them on first fit settings with very minor adjustments, and they were able to see significant improvement over individuals' previous hearing aids, but we also don't know how optimized their previous hearing aids were. There is potential that if both sets of hearing aids, both the old ones and the new ones, were programmed properly using real ear measurement, that there might be no difference, or there might be a much more substantial difference. What I can tell you is that this augmented focus feature is something that is a very novel idea, and I think that other hearing aid manufacturers are going to take note of this and want to start creating their own dual processing strategies. Because if you ask me, based on how this actually works, I really think that this could be a game changer in the hearing aid industry. At the end of the day, the Signia AX line of hearing aids is very impressive. They have some really nice features and some nice additions to these hearing aids that they have not had in their previous line of devices. I do wish that they actually rolled out every single style of hearing aid when they released their first style, which is the Signia Pure Charge and Go TAX, but it is what it is. A lot of hearing aid manufacturers have been doing this and it does drive me crazy. All that being said, these hearing aids are still very impressive if you ask me and I don't think that you'll be disappointed as long as you go to a hearing care professional who fits and programs them properly. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com. <laughs>